Hey y'all. Lester and Jamie here. Wait. Hey y'all. Jamie and Lester here. We took a tiny smidge of a little road trip. And here's proof that we took a road trip. There's bean dip and Fritos in the car. That's when you know that the dry and look, Lester's strapped in all the way. I'm strapped up. Strapped up. Strapped in. <laughs> Either way. That sounds horrible. We took a smidge of a road I trip. I my strap-ons. Can I say that? Since there's, these literally are strap-ons. I don't know if you can say that. I'm not sure. Anyway. Oops. Took a little road trip. Stopped for a little lunch. And now we're pulling in to our destination. Are you coming in with me or is this one of those moments where Could you're Could I just, just visit the lawnmower section here Probably first? so. We are, let me show you. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. I am standing in the wind tunnel, which feels amazing compared to being outside. But I regret to inform you that that is going to be short lived. It's actually not terrible. It's about six o'clock in the evening. I did things today without you and I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I recorded the fun parts and then I left out the other parts and the other parts included getting all of that, almost dying on the way home and then almost dying at home uh, with that. Stranger, yeah. We're about to start a project. To, this will not be a full day project. We're going to do this in pieces. Let me show you. This looks a little janky, but what has happened is water off of our RV cover has fallen and eroded the dirt in addition to having goats here over time and just, it's just a disaster. Initially, I wanted to build a raised bed that went all the way down, but I couldn't figure out how to do the boards right. So instead, I'm gonna go ahead and landscape it. And in order to landscape it, I had to get soil. Uh, I had to get weed barrier. Ignore, ignore today's gift and goodies that are still out. I haven't done that yet. That's, that's for later. Uh, I'm going to remove these old bricks and I outlined somewhat of what I want this to look like. I think there's still some manipulation that has to happen in here, but for the most part, you get the idea. Um, my vision is more elephant ears and more perennial things that I don't really have to replant every single year. Now my elephant ears, let me show you. I planted these bulbs last year and they are taller than me and I'm not sad about it. I love it actually. And I think it would be really neat if I could go all the way up this side with that specifically because they come back every year, they grow big, they're great on this side. This is the south east side of the building. Um, and right now it's full of weeds because I haven't maintained it at all. And we're gonna do better, okay? We're gonna do better. So step one is going to be get some weed barrier down over there and get this dirt unloaded so that Lester can use the farm truck to go get more dirt. Oh boy, Nikki Bell just jumped up on the back of that truck. Um, and then once I get the weed barrier down and dirt down, then we can start talking about plants and do a little plant shopping, which I'm not sad. I'm not sad about it, baby. I'm not sad about it. Um, and just sort of like strategize about shade plants and sun plants. As you can see, it's 6 p.m. This is the southwest side and this gets pretty hot in the afternoon. So I have to really think about what plants will grow here. In addition to over there, I already see some area that I wanna like realign. But either way, we gotta get dirt in here. We gotta get weed barrier in here and we have to eventually get mulch after I get plants in. But Today, we're gonna get our sweat on. This is why I don't have a gym membership because between feed bags and potting soil and plants and all the other jobs that come with farm life, there's nothing in the gym that is gonna, is gonna help me get through this any faster. 
Oh my gosh. And my cats are starving. It's clear. It's clear that it is also time to feed cats and dogs. Let me do just one section, okay? Just one. Hey y'all. Lester and Jamie here. Wait. Hey y'all. Jamie and Lester here. We took a tiny smidge of a little road trip. And here's proof that we took a road trip. There's bean dip and Fritos in the car. That's when you know that the dry, and look, Lester's strapped in all the way. I'm strapped up. Strapped up. Strapped in. <laughs> Either way. That sounds horrible. We took a smidge of a road I trip. I my strap-ons. Can I say that? Since there's, these literally are strap-ons. I don't know if you can say that. I'm not sure. Anyway, Oops. took a little road trip, stopped for a little lunch, and now we're pulling in to our destination. Are you coming in with me or is this one of those moments where Could you're Could I just, just visit the lawnmower section here Probably first? so. We are, let me show you. We are at Southern Nurseries, which is my most favorite nursery plant place on earth, as we have started a project. I haven't told you much about this project because it's slow moving, but the time has come to add a few things. <laughs> I realize that I've come here for plants, but they always have the coolest things to go in your garden. And I have, this right here feels like something that I need that's probably coming home with me. Let's take a walk. I gotta be real with you. It's my favorite aisle to walk down. There are so many things. And it's not a great time of year for planting, if I'm being really frank with you. But the things that are making it right now in this Texas heat are going to make it at home with me too. So really important to know that I'm not inside a, an actual store. I'm actually inside a greenhouse. Now there are some very unique things that grow in the heat of summer in Texas that will also make it into the fall. There's a lot of coleus over there and I have a lot of that in my garden at home. I forgot the name of these. Somebody surely knows and can tell me or it's probably in a sticker here. No, that's a lie. I'll figure that out. I brought y'all here one time whenever I got Stephanie her birthday gift. And she wanted some Peggy Martin roses. Some of these. That's a shade perennial. Uh, nah. I like potato vine. I'm going to grab some of that. That's what this is. Sweet potato vine. It vines. It grows. It's, it's really beautiful and it will even trellis. This is a shrimp plant <laughs> and they have the mauve and yellow variety growing right here. This is a fire witch. I actually really like those. They kind of grow up nicely. It's gonna be interesting to see all the things that they have right now. Like I said, it's a hot time of year. I'm looking for some things that will make it in the shade and the heat. So kind of a weird combo to think through. We have daylilies, which are only green at this time. Yes, I know cats and lilies don't mix, but I have quite a few. Ooh, there's some really pretty ones here too. The Siberian iris. That's beautiful. Don't have any of those. A oh, pardon me. Pardon me. I like that. There's only one of these left. A papyrus dwarf. Look at how cute that is. It looks like little fireworks coming out of the top. Love that. Hibiscus. I have quite a few hibiscus in our other part of the garden, so in order to match, I think that we'll have to incorporate some of these as well. The Cajun hibiscus. That's new. Cajun rising moon. Oh, a Jamie Rose. I don't know what that is, but it has my name, kind of. So, 
very intriguing as to what the actual color will be. This is a Cajun Maiden. Look how pretty those colors are. Beautiful. Can we just talk about the teeny tiny little succulents that are right here? I have not had great success with succulents. I want to. My mother is amazing at them. She has like a full window of them. There are some beauties here. My favorite succulent, of course, is the string of pearls. And I don't see one here. I had given one to Brie. And I think Lissa got something. Maybe something like that. Look at these cool. Frizzle sizzle. Now, those don't go in the ground where I want them to grow. Like, that's... These are all really neat potted plants to care for. I don't see a single string of pearls. There's a Christmas cactus. Look at all these. This looks like, like cauliflower leaves around it. So beautiful. This is really cool. It actually looks fake. So neat. I would be afraid that it would like take over and get like 12 foot tall and then I wouldn't know what to do with it because I wouldn't be able to touch it. This nursery has some of the coolest plants ever though. I love it here so much. Lester's gone. He's sitting on a lawnmower, I'm sure of it. We're ready for our project now. I'm really excited because they had a significant amount of things that were for shade and the area that we're working in is primarily shade until about four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, everything I got is perennial with the, no, everything I bought is perennial, meaning that it will come back year after year. So that's a huge plus, not a recurring expense. Um, and I, I did, I splurged on one thing, one thing. I'll show you when we get home.